Muhammad Ali versus George Foreman. Blur versus Oasis. Venus Williams versus Serena Williams. Some of the battles we've seen through the ages. And we've got another one on our hands right now between Michael Ball and Larry Rickard. Let me tell you that. Still no idea who's going to walk away with this trophy. It's going to be one of them, and they're going to knock chunks out of each other to get it. Let's meet our players for one final time this week. They are Larry Rickard, Michael Ball, going down, Snoochie Shy, and Jody Prender. <laughs> Hey, everybody. Hey. Hi. I mean, it has it. Listen, we've had a fun week, have we not? It's been, but it's been very much. It's been interesting watching these two. It's been impressive, I would say. It's been a game within a game. It's been inspiring. Yeah. It's, been, it's, yeah. it's been inspiring. Yeah. inspiring. He came back to me in the, the restaurant last night and he had a baby sweet corn. He put it down the table and he kept punching it with his fist, saying, Witness my power. Wow. That's where he's got to. Witness yeah. my power. I mean, he's good, isn't he? Let's get serious. I mean, well, I mean, is that good? <laughs> well, is that to be encouraged? <laughs> yeah. I just I think once you're in Michael Ball's position in the business, yeah. do what you want. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? But he could be much worse. That's all yeah, I'm no, saying. Yeah, no, that's true. I have met several people worse <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> at least this is kind of grounded in something. <laughs> Let's take a look at the weekly leaderboard there and see where we stand. It is double points Friday, of course, which means eight for a win and six for second and there's only two points between the two of you. So we could have some very interesting scenarios by the end of today's show. I feel a bit sick. As well as interesting <laughs> scenarios, we've got some interesting prizes. So not just a trophy today, but one of these will go to one of you. Snoochie or Jody, I'd love you to win one. We've got the sliders, we've got the phone case, the gentleman's cologne, the bread bin, and the wheelie luggage. Jody, anything there you fancy? Oh, please may I have the luggage? Uh, it's nice. The it's luggage, lovely, right? that. Yeah, the wheelie luggage, Snoochie. Yeah. I'd go for the luggage as well, cos, you know, Ibiza. Cos Ibiza. <laughs> yeah, perfect for it. Excuse me, that's my answer to everything. <laughs> yeah. if, if anyone ever says to me, ask me why I make a decision, I say, cos Ibiza. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> always have, always will. Michael? I'm drawn to the sliders. The sliders? Oh. Drawn to the sliders? Yeah. Uh, Larry? Uh, I'm torn between the bread bin and the amazing wheelie suitcase. It feels like the suitcase is the classic yeah. prize. Also, I'm really curious to know what the cologne smells of. Oh, you don't want to know. OK, they're you not the cologne. You do not want to know. That's good. That's ruled that out. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the suitcase smells better. Right. Shall we get on? After a brilliant week, we'll play our final game of House of Games. Let's do, do it. it. Who's going to be our champion, I wonder? Let's find out. Five rounds between now and giving away the trophy. The first one of them is... <laughs> is it Spaniel Craig? Fingers on buzzers, please, everyone. What I'm going to do, I'm going to show you a clue I'm also going to show you a picture. What you see in the picture will rhyme with the first word of the answer. OK, so if you change the word in the answer to the thing in the picture, what? it literally couldn't be simpler. <laughs> I got it before you even said it, yeah, yeah. it's clear. Listen, I've listened to On the Ball enough, Michael. You can understand all this. <laughs> OK, here's your first one. So swap the first word of the answer with the thing you see in the picture. OK. Sitcom set in space with the characters Lister, Rimmer, Crichton, and Cat. Yes, that is Larry. Shed Dwarf. Shed Dwarf. Red Dwarf becomes Shed Dwarf. <laughs> next picture, next clue. Rock band who sits includes Sweet Child of Mine. Yes, that's Larry. Buns and Roses. Buns and Roses. Guns and Roses become Buns and Roses. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say Scone Roses. <laughs> oh, yeah. I thought you were going to say Scone. Oh, I so oh. wish yeah. they waited. I know. <laughs> scone. That's it, Scone Roses. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens when you buzz in too quick. Right. We miss yeah. Michael uh, making uh, a mistake. Yeah, um, so don't. Next one. <laughs> what is the title of this song? Yes, Snoochie. Glove Machine. Glove Machine by oh. Girls Aloud. Absolutely, Love Machine becomes Glove Machine. Next one. 1988 film starring Dustin Hoffman as Raymond Babbitt. Yes, Michael. Crane Man. Crane Man. It is. Rain Man becomes Crane Man. I was thinking Crane Man versus <laughs> Crane Man. <laughs> <laughs> But that Which doesn't work. In some ways, worse than the yeah, Stone yeah, yeah, Roses. Yeah, much worse. Yeah. <laughs> uh, next one. Shakespeare play featuring the characters Hero and Claudio. Um. 
Yes, Lawrence. Clutch ado about nothing. <gasps> Clutch ado about nothing. Brilliant. Yeah. That's really good. <laughs> That's really good. You've yeah. got to hand it to the guy. Just handbag ado about yeah, nothing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Much ado about nothing becomes clutch ado about nothing. Next one. Jane Austen novel featuring the Dashwood sisters. Yes, Larry. Is it fence and sensibility? Fence and sensibility it is. Very hard to not say fence and sensibility. Yeah. Fence and sensibility from sense and sensibility. Next one. What is the title of this song? Yes, Larry. Slayer. Slayer. <laughs> hey, you are become Slayer. Oh, right. Outcast. Yes. Final question in this round. Channel 4 reality show in which contestants take turns to host dinner parties. Yes, Larry. Scrum dine with me. Scrum dine with me. It is well played. He's doing today what Michael did on Wednesday in this first round. Absolutely blitzing it. Our leaderboard looks like this. Be a big day to win. Double points Friday. Jody yet to get off the mark. Snoochie and Michael, one point each. Oh, Look at that. Wow. Lawrence Rickard, oh, six points. It's a, it's a good round. It's a good round. That was a good round. Michael on Wednesday got seven points in the first round, yeah. didn't he? But uh, that's, uh, that's yeah, a pretty good going. <laughs> Um, four rounds to go, though. Four rounds to catch up some points. Our next round, our final pairs game of the week, is... Totes emoji. Jodie, who would you like to play this with? Um, may I have the ball? You may have the ball. Of course you may. You can go um, to the ball. So I can go to the jo ball. Jodie and Larry, why don't you swap places, please? Welcome, Jodie. Oh, it's nice lovely to see, to see you. I think I've left you in that seat all week. Yeah, I thought it was about time we saw, we saw you. Um, before the show, you all sent me the name of an animated TV show using just emojis. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what you've got to do now is guess the one that your partner sent to me. So, Jodie, before the show, Michael Ball, the Ball himself, sent me an animated TV show, but which one, I wonder? Sorry. Did you just say sorry? Yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> what is this animated TV show? Oh. Inspector Gadget. Inspector Gadget? Thank you. Beautiful. I mean, that's the way to do it. I don't know what you're saying sorry for. Beautifully done. I mean, couldn't do that better, I don't I mean, Yeah, it's really good, yeah. though. Inspector Gadget. Uh, Snoochie. Larry, Hello. before the show, sent me an animated TV show. Let's good luck. see yeah, what yeah. it is. OK, so you've got Sponge... Oh, SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob SquarePants? It is. Well done. Very nice. I didn't leave the other four at the end there, Larry. No, I know. Is that that was an additional clue where you, you love or oh, you live Bob. in a pineapple under the sea. Love in a pineapple under the sea. Yes, yeah, SpongeBob it was a backup <laughs> square. That was actually pants. Really good. Sure. That's very impressive stuff. SpongeBob SquarePants. And he's just showboating at the end there. That's like at the snooker when they do an exhibition, when, when it ends early. Yeah. That's, it. That's, that's you doing trick shots. Michael, before the show, Jodie sent me some uh, emojis, which hopefully will lead you to an animated TV show, but which one? So we've got... Cap... Captain... Oh. Pug wash. Oh, that's yeah. so good. Yeah, well done. Captain, Captain Plug Wash. Plug wash. And, oh, that's, that's great. Do you know what? You, I mean, this is great so far. <laughs> Snoochie, don't let us down. Uh, really, I, really well, no, awesome. Sorry, you're already. On you, right? <laughs> well done at home if you said Captain oh, Plug Wash. <laughs> Nicely done. Uh, Larry, mm -hmm. Snoochie sent me some emojis before the show, which will tell you the name of an animated TV show. I am sure of it. Ah. I'm going to say, I'm thinking of a drum roll. Is it, is it Paw Patrol? Is it Paw Patrol? Yes, it's Paw Patrol. <laughs> oh, well done. <laughs> Paw, a drum roll. Patrolling the streets. Patrolling, I mean... Oh, OK. <laughs> yes, <laughs> no. 
<laughs> yeah, that's I like the fact you've got it anyway. <laughs> uh, honestly, this round normally we're here for about an hour. Oh, really? Right. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Wow. Because people are going, how on earth could that be? But you guys have absolutely blitzed it. You did some more of these. Should we do some more? Yeah. yeah. We've, never, we've never done that before. We'll do one more for each team. Brilliant. Great. Okay, we'll do one more for each team. So, Jody, Michael before the show sent me. We've never done this before. You guys are too good. You broke the show. <laughs> Um, I knew it. I said, get me Michael Ball. I knew something would happen. <laughs> I knew magic would happen. I t absolutely told you, time and again. We had to bully him into it. Radio 2 listens had to bully him into it. Uh, Jody, before the show, Michael okay. sent me these. An unprecedented extra round of uh, totes emoji. Which animated TV show is this? Hmm. OK. Oh. Oh, yeah, OK. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. Rocket for Sons? Rocket for Sons. Hashtag Rocket for Sons. <laughs> oh, that was yeah. such a great... Are you, are you glad I kept you down this? Not <laughs> a at all. Bit I'm really good at it. Oh, I, oh, I don't... Rocket. It's an older one. Yeah. Is it? Oh, oh, it's not Button Moon, no. No, it really isn't. <laughs> really not Button Moon, is it? I have no... No idea. Uh, we don't give points away, but anyone on the other team have an idea? I'm assuming Jet Suns? Yeah. Jet Suns? It is. Well done. <laughs> Good ones again. That's annoying, isn't it? Yeah. That's, that's gettable. Yeah. Um, Snoochie, before the show, Larry sent me the name of an animated TV show, but which one, I wonder? Short and sweet. <laughs> Just Family Guy. Family Guy? Oh, it is. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> How about that? I mean, we didn't extend the round by long, but we extended it by a bit. A real peek behind the curtain there, because they always do two. We've never used two before. It was fun, though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good to do. A bit of showboating. Um, Larry and Jodie, if you will swap back, please. Um, it's will. Lovely to oh. see you. Do you enjoy it? It's nice uh, It's right. lovely, that. Actually. Well played. And welcome back, Larry. Thank you. Well played, everybody. Very good stuff. And Thank well you. done for the first time ever if you got six out of six at home. No one's ever done it in the history of the show. If you've just done it just now, very well done. Um, leaderboard, anyone? Two for Jody, three for Michael, four for Snoochie, oh. nine for Lawrence. Ooh. Still out there. Still out there. Let's play our third round on our final of this week's House of Games. It is. Two clues in one. Fingers on buzzers, please, everybody. I will give you a category. Your first one is British food. Uh, I will show you a clue to a British food. It's two clues in one because the clue will also have the same initials as the answer. OK? So the answer will have the same initials as this clue. Which British food is this? Crimped parcel. Larry. Cornish pasty? Cornish pasty. Oh, I see how it, it is. is. Yeah, yeah, you see? Uh, next British food. Speckly dessert. Yes, Snoochie. Like spo spotted dick? Spotted dick. <laughs> it is. Speckly dessert, spotted dick. Next one. Elitis mishmash. Yes, Larry. Eaten mess. Eaten mess. Well played to the uh, yeah. question writers there. Uh, next category. Friends of Winnie the Pooh. Who are they? Tyless. Yes, Snoochie. Tigger. Tigger. Correct. Next one. Porker. Yes, Larry. Piglet. Piglet. It is. And cheerful, reliable. Larry. Christopher Robin. Christopher Robin. Famously cheerful and reliable. Right. Next category. TV judges. Which TV judges are these? Loves Westlife. Larry. Louis Walsh. Louis Walsh. <laughs> oh, I was thinking of different types of judges. I was thinking like, <laughs> yeah, I was <laughs> like, just <laughs> yeah. uh, okay. Next one. Strictly Boss. Larry. No, it's no, not. Time you out. Uh, Michael. Shirley Ballas. Shirley Ballas. 
It is Shirley Ballas. And final question. Prestigious handshake. <laughs> Larry. Paul Hollywood. Paul Hollywood is the answer we were looking for. That's a good round for Larry. I did the big build-up at the start about no, Ollie against Foreman <laughs> and all I, this kind of stuff. I've peaked. It's, it's all still to play for. No, it isn't. I I feel do you know, <laughs> I don't think it is all still to play for, Larry. <laughs> Some bits of it are still to play for. Well, let's, well, let's have a look. Let's see if the scoreboard okay. believes oh, this no. is still to play for. Jodie's oh. got two, Michael four, Snoochie six. Lawrence has got a nine point lead with two rounds wow. to go. Well, 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 What's well, nine well, points well, between well, friends? Well, We're still friends, right? No. We're still friends. No. <laughs> Absolutely. Lo not. Lovely use of the word still. Mm. Yeah. Sweet. Uh, two <laughs> rounds to go. I think it could be a coronation now, but what a week it has been. Two more rounds. Let's see how we do with this one. I'm terrible at dating. If you'll take your tablets out, please, everybody. I'm going to give you some uh, events from world history, and you need to write me down the year you think they happened in, and whoever is closest will win themselves a point. I'm terrible at dating. The first year I'd like you to write down, please, is this. In what year did James II of Scotland ban golf? I wonder. Huh. James II of Scotland banning golf. Hmm. Hmm. What do you think at home on this one? Any history buffs out there? Have you done an episode on James II of Scotland banning golf? I don't think so. Yeah. I, I say that and I'll be proved wrong. I it remember doing like James it. the Sixth. Oh, did you? Yeah. Who was also James the First here. Uh, OK, I got gotcha. you. There's a lot going on there. Yeah. Um, so, Larry, you sort of you feel like if anyone's going to be an expert on this panel, it is you. What year have you gone for? I've said 1504. 1504, says Larry. <laughs> Michael? I went for 1632. That's 1632. But that's roughly when history happens, isn't it? Around yeah. about those sorts of <laughs> <Yeah>. dates. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> Sorry. I'm not sure there's an awful lot of confidence from the other end of the studio <laughs> there. Uh, Snoochie, what are you saying? I thought switch it up. 1859. 1859. Look, why not? Well, I just thought I'd, I'd widen that a bit in 1861. <laughs> 1861. <laughs> wow, you guys are so close to each other. I know. If if this was the averages round, I'd take your answer as 1860. <laughs> um, what do you reckon at home on this one? Royalty fan, golf fan, Scottish fan, fan of years? <laughs> um, what are you saying? When did he ban golf and who has got the point? 1457, oh. Larry, you get yourself a point. Very nicely done. Excellent. I thought that was going to be a bit too late. I didn't even know golf was around in them. Yeah. Well, it wasn't after that. No, no it wasn't after yeah. that, no. Um, yeah, he want, he, since he only banned it, he wasn't anti-golf, but he wanted everyone to take up archery. Oh. For reasons yeah. of war and defence, and so he banned golf and football. Although, having accidentally walked across a golf course before... Deadly. Yeah. Yeah, but maybe... I think some... he should have encouraged golf. Yeah. Come on, come on, James the Second, <gasps> you idiot. Um, here's your next one. When did this happen, please? The first Crofts dog show is held at the Royal Agricultural Hall in Islington. When was Crofts first held? I've never thought about that before. No. Jodie, you're a huge dog I fan. I know. I love, I love them dearly. Do you watch Crofts when it's on TV? I do, actually, yeah. It's brilliant, isn't it? It is good, isn't it? I met the lady who won it. No. Yeah. I thought it was yeah. a dog this year. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> I'm ringing the changes. <laughs> yeah, she came to the show. <gasps> this show. He's Seagull Man, yeah, isn't it? Just. <laughs> Everyone in? Everyone is in. What do you think at home on this one? Um, Michael, first ever crush. No, I've gone too late. I think 1922. Yeah, that's... I, think I mean, that's, who knows? Yeah, not a bad guess. 1922, Snoochie. 1997. 1997. Yeah. I'm going to say you have gone a bit too late, <laughs> would be my guess, because I was 26 and I think Cross was definitely around in, uh, in 97. Jodie? I've gone 1924. OK, Ooh, very yeah. close to Michael. And Larry? I've gone 1911. 1911, you're saying. OK, just after the war, just before the war, just after Tony Blair got in. <laughs> That's where we're standing here on this one. When was the first Crufts dog show held and who's got a point? 1891. Oh, wow. oh it nice to see Larry get a point. Yeah. yeah. Thank good. God. Oh, goodness yeah, well me. Well Finally, he's got one. 1891. Uh, 1891. Very well done if you did that. Uh, and it's set up by Charles Cruft. Do you know what Charles Cruft's job was? Mm -mm. Dog food manufacturer? He was a travelling dog biscuit salesman. Really? Yeah, wow. he was. Oh, OK. How about that? That's, that's smart thinking, isn't it? Yeah. It's smart thinking. 
next one. The most recent confirmed eruption of Mount Fuji begins. When was that? No idea. We might as well call this round No Idea. No Idea. The most recent eruption of Mount Fuji. I think they should sample the sound of Mount Fuji erupting twice and uh, the Fujis should put it on a song. Oh. <laughs> you think that's something? Is that something? Yeah, I think, I think you've got... <laughs> I think it's worth writing the letter and finding it. <laughs> Dear, Dear Lauren the Hill. <laughs> Dear Wycliffe Jean. You don't, now, you don't know me, but... Um, everyone in? Yeah. Snoochie, when was the most recently confirmed eruption of Mount Fuji, I wonder? I've gone for 1997 again. Do you know what? <laughs> Why not? Right? Why not? Yeah. yeah. I think that's. I think that could be very smart. Mm. Jodie? 2022. 2022? Yeah, okay. Listen, right. I mean, could be. Larry? Uh, 1972. 1972. And uh, Mickey? 1971. 1970. Oh, oh, super close. What do you think at home on this one? I don't remember it. No. But there may be, like, eruptions aren't always oh, catastrophic. Ten a are penny. They? Yeah, exactly. There's a lot of them going on. Cheap Let's find out, shall we? When was the most recent confirmed eruption of Mount Fuji? Who scored a point? It was 1707. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, so close. Michael Ball, you got yourself a point there <laughs> with 1971. Amazing. You know what? You won it by a point from Larry. Imagine if Larry had got that one as yeah. well. Yeah. <laughs> 1707. No. Uh, final question in this round. The UK's first commercial wind farm is opened in Delable in Cornwall. A lot of them about now, but when was the mm. first one? Wind farm. Everyone is in. What do we think at home on this one? First wind farm. Perhaps you live in Delable in Cornwall. Do you remember it? Or well, then it'll be like 1600, and of course they won't remember it. Jody, what are you saying? I went for 1987. 1987? Yeah. Yep. Larry? Uh, 1972. Again? Yeah, well, I just thought, you know, if it ain't broke, if it isn't correct, keep writing it down until it is <laughs> until correct. It is. That's the uh, old adage going Michael? <laughs> and I wasn't cheating. No. <laughs> yeah, way. how so weird is that? As well. It's the only way to get a point. Say the same yeah, thing as Larry. Just whatever he says. And Snoochie? 1903. 1903. Listen, yeah. we, you never know. Why not? You know what? This is so going to be 1997 now, isn't it? Yeah. Um, what have you written down at home? You don't need to write it down at home, I believe you. Uh, what have you said at home? Let's find out, shall we? When was the first wind farm opened in the UK? 1991. A point to Jody. Oh. Hey. Well played, Jody. Very nicely done. 1991. Wow. You would have thought it would be before. Yeah, yeah. Well, obviously. Yeah, I thought before. <laughs> yeah, That's I mean, why you wrote down I around early 70s yeah. was something. Um, like... uh, it's the end of the round. Very well done if you, uh, if you got that one bang on. One round to go. Final round of this week. It's been an absolutely lovely week. We know, I think, who's going to win. Let's confirm it, shall we, with uh, our leaderboards. He's got an 11-point lead going wow. to the final <laughs> one. I mean, that would be quite something to get rid of, isn't it? historic? I think it might be. I think I'd it like might be. I'd like to think it, even yeah. if it's not, because you tell people it is. Yes, oh, it is historic, yeah. So it's a genuine, historic. horrible history. <laughs> oh, there you go. Did it's you Michael Ball's very own <laughs> horrible history yeah. going on. I'll never forget this. Let's, uh, <laughs> that's what you wanted at the start of the week. Basically, yeah, Michael I Ball like, looking at you can I, do I want to win? No, but do I want to annoy Michael Ball? <laughs> Boy, that's do I. That's a different question. Count me in. Yeah. Um, <laughs> let's do it, shall we? Our final round of our final is answer smash. Fingers on buzzers for one final time, everybody. Point for a correct answer, point off for an incorrect answer. If you buzz in and get all six of them wrong and you buzz in and get all six of them right, could be anyone's game. <laughs> <laughs> Your first category is Capricorns. Mm, OK. Palma is the capital of which Balearic island? <laughs> yes, Michael. Major Carol Vorderman. Is it Major Carol Vorderman? <laughs> It is, absolutely. I think because it could have been Mallorca or Menorca. Yeah. Look, that looks like it says Major Carol Vorderman. <laughs> sort of. Oh, wow, can you imagine that? <laughs> Next one. <laughs> Which Swedish folk duo have had UK top ten albums with Ruins and Palomino? Oh. Nobody. Shall we have a look? 
It was First Aid <laughs> Kit <laughs> Harrington. Oh, that's it. Kit Harrington and First Aid Kit. Uh, next one. In December 1066, William the Conqueror was crowned King of England at which London church? <laughs> yes, Larry. Westminster Abbey Clancy. It is. Well done. Very nice. Next category. Parts of a house. In which TV series first broadcast in 2004 did Gordon Ramsay attempt to teach ten celebrities to cook for a restaurant? Yes, Michael. Hell's Kitchen Sink. Hell's Kitchen Sink? It is. Hell's Kitchen, Kitchen Sink, Hell's Kitchen Sink. Next one. What is the title of the 1996 UK number one single by Babylon Zoo? Yes, Larry. Space Mantelpiece. Space Mantelpiece? It is Spaceman and Mantelpiece, Space Mantelpiece. And next one. Which song was the 1986 UK number one hit for Doctor and the Medics? Yes, Michael. Spirit in the Skylight. Spirit in the Skylight? Moving on up to the Spirit in the Skylight. Absolutely. Spirit in the Sky and Skylight. Any more this week? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What a week we had. In the end, it was not Blur versus Oasis, it was Blur versus Shed 7. <laughs> <laughs> With no shade on the wonderful Shed 7. Oh, no, I love it. Listen, yeah. I love Shed 7. Um, what a week we've had. Shall we see who our winner on Friday's House of Games was? Please. No, let's not pop. <laughs> 19 points Ooh. for Larry Rickard. Oh, How thanks, about guys. that? That's amazing. You've got to hand it to the guy. Uh, Larry, you've won yourself another prize. What would you like? Um, it has to be the classic suitcase. The classic suitcase Please. goes to Larry Rickard. Well played, Larry. Uh, we have a trophy to give away. He was winning at the start of the show on the weekly leaderboard. It's double points Friday and he won today. Who has won this week's House of Games? <sighs> Our champion this week. Well earned, uh, Larry Ricard. Well played, Larry. Congratulations. It's a good feeling. It's amazing. This is the greatest day of my life. You've scored big and you've had a very, very, very strong competitor against you all the way yeah, through as absolutely. well. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's pushed you to greater heights. I'm, well, I hope so, because um, so far everything's been very, very bad in my career and I just want, you know, from here to go... Yeah. yeah. And this is it. Yeah. Because I have influence and your career is over. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, in a way, all of our careers are over. <laughs> um, it's been such a lovely week. Thank Brilliant. you all so much. It's been an absolute pleasure having you here. Thank you all for playing as well. It's been an absolute treat. And thank you all for watching this week on The House of Games. <laughs>